my name is Sean, and welcome to Prairie Badger Weapon Exploration. So get yourself a coffee or a tea, and sit down and relax. So today, I want to talk to you about something of mine that's very old. It's about 17 years old. I got it in 2004, and this year it's 2021. So I've had it a long time. It's one of my oldest machetes that I have, and it's made by Cold Steel. It is called Cold Steel Bolo and is the original one that they first started making out of South Africa. Now this one here is discontinued and out of production at the moment. This one here is much smaller than the bolo they make today. The bolo they make today is 18 inches long and has a slightly different blade and tip. This one here is 15 and a half inches long. It's two millimeters wide and the tip actually looks more like a parang than a bolo. It's got a sweep down here with the center line point coming almost down to the, the front there. So it has a lot of weight for chopping power. It's a lot shorter and very thin and lightweight. It has a fully ambidextric handle made of the polypropylene uh, glass filled uh, plastic which they call guivery. Now this one here has a very neat shaped handle and it has a hole at the bottom that's exactly half an inch wide. That's a very big hole. You won't see that in any of their newer machetes. It could be put on a hanger, a lanyard, and it also lightens up the machete quite a bit. It's full tang all the way to the bottom there. Um, it has a square choil and a very sharp edge and it's made with 1055 high carbon steel. This one here doesn't come with the sheath. The sheath is sold separately. This comes in a paper kind of sleeve. This is the sheath here. Now, when I got this machete, it was $25 Canadian. So, the sheath is about was about $15 Canadian. So, depending where you live, USA, UK, or overseas, the price might have varied. But that was 17 years ago. Again, they no longer make this one. I actually kind of wish they would give you the option of the original and the newer one because some people might not want a full size 18 they might want a shorter lighter one this is good for bushcraft camping hunting fishing survival anything you want to do um, I've actually had taken this hunting quite a few times uh, fish and uh, this one here has been on a few adventures with me I've also used the clear bush out in the backyard so it's kind of a good all-around machete. Um, this one here it's probably uh, the best bang for your dollar. If you can find one online there are some retailers possibly Amazon or eBay or somewhere someone has an older uh, 15 and a half inch cold steel bubble machete. You can see it straight up and down like this, how it looks with this profile this way. Very lightweight, easy to use. You don't want to grip it too hard. You probably want to do an upper pinch grip like that and just kind of let it snap forward like that. Um, again, if you're using a machete, you want to exercise great caution. Um, always make sure there aren't pets around. If you're chopping and you're getting into the moments, your dog or your cat might see you, you might, they might want to come hang out with you. So be careful there's no pets. Be careful for those no people around. Always be aware of your surroundings when you lift the machete up as well, so you don't hit anything around you by accident. Um, when I'm not using it, I like to clean it off, give it a good sharpen with a diamond stone or a file, and then put a, a light oil, like a sword oil, or a mineral oil will work as well and metal polish 
and put it back in the sheath when you're done with it. And um, I'm a father, I have kids, a kid, so I always like to make sure it's locked away in a gun safe or a gun locker with a locking lock. So always make sure you store it properly, keep it out of the reach of children, make sure you're careful of pets and other people around you, and wear your surroundings. Um, probably, I have quite a few machetes, but this one is probably my favorite, my easy uh, go-to, and um, very good quality for the dollar. Um, if you're looking for a machete and you don't want something that's big, hard to use, um, that's easy to get into, good price, um, good quality, and uh, most user-friendly machete I've ever used. So thank you very much. Um, hopefully this helps you uh, if you're looking for a machete, um, helps you with the review on uh, purchasing machete or looking at one. Um, I recommend Cold Steel. I have a few other ones by different brands, but this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, Condor would probably be my other favorite as well. So thank you very much and thank you for your time. Hope you have yourself a good day and take care.